Thomas Custer. Thomas Ward Custer, March 15, 1845, June 25, 1876, was a United States Army officer and two-time recipient of the Medal of Honor for Bravery during the American Civil War. A younger brother of George Armstrong Custer, he served as his aide at the Battle of Little Bighorn against the Lakota and Cheyenne in the Montana Territory. The two of them, along with their younger brother, Austin Custer, were killed in the overwhelming defeat of United States forces. Early Life and Civil War Thomas Custer was born in New Runley, Ohio, the third son of Emanuel and Marie Custer. The paternal line was of ethnic German descent. 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 He enlisted in the Union Army in September 1861, at age 16, and served in the early campaigns of the Civil War as a private in the 21st Ohio Volunteer Infantry. He saw action at numerous battles, including Stones River, Missionary Ridge, and the Atlantic Campaign. He mustered out in October 1864 as a corporal. Commissioned a second lieutenant in Company B of the 6th Michigan Cavalry, he became aide-de-camp to his brother George Armstrong Custer and accompanied him throughout the last year of the war. Custer distinguished himself by winning successively the brevets of captain, major, and lieutenant colonel, although he was barely twenty years of age when the Civil War ended. He was awarded two medals of honor. He was the first soldier to receive the jewel honor, one of only four soldiers or sailors to receive the jewel honor during the Civil War, and one of just nineteen in history. Medals of Honor Both actions that earned Custer the Medal of Honor involved capturing Confederate regimental flags, 2nd North Carolina Cavalry flag at Namazine Church on April 3, 1865, and again at Sailor's Creek on April 6, 1865. Such battle flags denoted individual persons or units on the field of battle. The flag symbolized the honor of the regiment. First Award Custer earned his first Medal of Honor for actions during the Battle of Namazine Church, April 3, 1865. Among Union forces charging Confederate barricades, Custer had his horse leap a barricade while coming under fire. The Confederates fell back in confusion before him while he saw a color bearer. Racing forward, he seized the flag of the second, North Carolina cavalry from the bearer and commanded those around him to surrender. He took three officers and eleven enlisted men as prisoner, took them back behind the Federal column, and requisitioned another horse as his had been shot during the charge. Second Award Date of Actions Until 1948, official references for the date of actions for which Thomas Custer was awarded the Medal of Honor were listed as April 2 and 6, 1865. However, that year a U.S. Army book on Medal of Honor citations listed the dates as May 11, 1863 and April 6, 1865. Consolidated lists of all Medal of Honor citations were published by the U.S. Senate in 1963, 1973, and 1979, with the incorrect first date of May 11, 1863, and in 1963 and 1973, with the correct second date of April 6, 1865. The 1979 edition published the second date as April 1865, and this would seem to be why the online Army Medal of Honor citations at United States Army Center of Military History has two incorrect dates. The Civil War Army recipient who follows Thomas Custer alphabetically is Byron Cutchin, whose date of action was May 10, 1863. This may explain how the first date of action for Thomas Custer appeared as May 10, 1863. Indian Wars Following the war, Custer was appointed first lieutenant in the 7th Cavalry in 1866. He was wounded in the Washita Campaign of the Indian Wars in November 1868. He later served with the Army during the Reconstruction Era, assigned to keep the peace in South Carolina. He participated in the Yellowstone Expedition of 1873, where he fought in the Battle of Hansinger Bluff, 
and the Black Hills Expedition of 1874. Custer was appointed captain in 1875 and given command of Company C of the 7th Cavalry. In 1874, at the trading post at Standing Rock Agency, Custer participated in the arrest of Chief Rain in the face Lakota, suspected in the 1873 murder of Dr. John Hunsinger. During the 1876 Little Bighorn Campaign of the Black Hills War, he served as aide-de-camp to his older brother, Lieutenant Colonel George A. Custer, and died with his brother on June 25, 1876. Lieutenant Henry Harrington actually led Company C during the battle. George and Thomas, younger brother, Boston Custer, also died in the fighting, as did other Custer relatives and friends. It was widely rumored that rain in the face, who had escaped from captivity and participated at the Little Bighorn, cut out Tom Custer's heart after the battle. The chief denied it later during an interview. Custer's corpse was so badly mutilated that the remains were identified only by a recognizable tattoo of his initials on his arm. Tom Custer was first buried on the battlefield. He was exhumed with other soldiers the next year and were buried in Fort Leavenworth National Cemetery. A stone memorial slab marks the place where his body was discovered and initially buried. Possible Cheyenne Descendants George Custer was alleged by Captain Frederick Benteen, Chief of Scouts Ben Clark, and Cheyenne oral tradition to have unofficially married Mo Nasi Todd, daughter of the Cheyenne Chief Little Rock, in the winter or early spring of 1868-1869. Mo Nasi Todd gave birth to a child in January 1869, two months after the Battle of Washita, in which her father was killed. Cheyenne oral history tells that she bore a second child fathered by Custer in late 1869. Some historians believe that George Custer had become sterile after contracting gonorrhea while at West Point, and that the father of these children was his brother Thomas.